Chapter 17, Episode 4. Where would you like to go to spend New Year's? Uh, far away from crowds. I don't like New Year's. I'd be happy to do it here with you. We'll watch from the window. It's a great show from the roof, I imagine. How about up on a mountain somewhere, or a beach? Are you going to ask your dad to fly us there? He asked me where I'd like to go. He actually said, where would you girls like to go for New Year's? That doesn't mean flying somewhere in a jet. Sure it does. Where do you want to go assumes a jet. Oh, of course. I'm just used to work in one drive to. A little backwards, our family. Your family is great. Where do you want to go? You want me to choose. I want you to come and I want you to like it. Any restrictions? Australia is too far for a three or four day trip. Best think within five or six hours by jet. So, Canada, South America, or Central America? One could say the Americas are your options. Okay, really? Yes, pick somewhere. We are on a schedule. We are? I'm going to get rough soon. Oh, that sounds fun. Susanna, I think hot rather than cold. First thing that comes to mind is South America, but I wouldn't know where. So I think Costa Rica. I saw something about Costa Rica. It looked amazing. Costa Rica then. Perfect. We've been there. It is beautiful. We stayed in a great place near the border of Panama on the west coast. They have local style huts that are little vacation homes. Every hut, mini lodge, has a pool. It's beautiful. You'll love it. I'll tell my dad to book it. Sarah left Susanna to bathe in her home jungle pond and ran off to go talk to her father. She didn't bother getting dressed. It still surprised Susanna that Sarah was completely uninhibited in front of her parents. Susanna knew it was prudish to think about nudity in your own home, but in her own home they were prudish. In fact, they came from a long line of prudish Christians who declared the native savage when they came over and killed most all of them before building churches from east to west to teach prudence. Susanna had been having a sexual relationship with a young woman who looked like a savage and she felt very good about it. She loved Sarah. But there was no way she could tell her parents. She had, however, promised herself that if they asked, that she would not lie. Do you lick each other's vaginas? That and other things. What other things? Anything that can be licked. That wasn't a big part of their relationship. They liked to hug and kiss and have their legs or arms touching. Contact and friendship. And they both liked sex. Who are you talking to? Susanna turned to see that Sarah had returned. Myself. Well, my parents. But they aren't here. About having sex with a brown girl? The brown girl... The, the brown part isn't the issue. It's the sex and the girl part. Uh, they might surprise you. You could be right, but until they ask, I am not going to test them. We could stop having sex. Susanna smiled. It sounded like a joke. Just looking at Sarah made her horny. Sarah knew it. Many people got horny when they looked at Sarah. It was the way she looked, the way she moved. Even her breathing was sexy. What did your dad say? He said we should leave tonight so we can have the day to enjoy the ride down there. It's not fun at night. It already is tonight. Yeah, so get dressed and let's go find some sloths and toucans. I better call my mother. Mum looked after that. She did? She called your mother. Oh, then I'll text her Happy New Year. They have internet in Costa Rica. Of course they do. So, get dressed. Let's go. Are you going naked?